Moi Sumi and hello Eurovision fans! It is William calling from Movie Blogs and it is time to review the third song in Udin Musigan Kilpalu 2024. The artist is Sara Sipola and the song is Pastana in brackets, I'm a effing wreck. Okay, this is how Wiley described the song. Pascana deals with grief and lets the listener feel heartbroken. Why do others go grocery shopping and go on with their lives when my own world has stopped cold? According to Sipola, the power of the song stems from the fact that it doesn't romanticize the idea of grief, that there will be a happy ending. Yeah, so she's saying there's not necessarily going to be a happy ending. Okay, girl, I understand. The UMK jury described Sarah as one of Finland's rising vocalists with a stunning voice. They called her song touching and dramatic, offering both tender vulnerability and uplifting power. Dabon! Oh, the music in Kilpalu! Hey, William! Shall we watch the music video and react? <laughs> Let's, Let's do this! Hitting Palais. Beautiful oh. woman. Atmosphere. Beautiful. Uh oh. She's feeling it straight away. Oh. Feeling the vibe. This is very honest. She's been lying to her therapist. Oh, deep, deep, deep. But one thought of the deceased, and the pain comes back. I feel that pain, honey. Wow. Shut off the sun, cut the music. These are beautiful lyrics. She can't play along. This is a big topic here, right? It's a hot topic. Our girl feels dead. Goosebumps everywhere, wow. I like her voice. This is a modern pop ballad and I love it. Oh, I love that 80s synth wave mm. riding in the background. She's drinking alcohol to feel better. She is emoting. Yeah. Oh my god. The safe pain I know keeps you alive. Wow. This is beautiful. I like this. Wedding wow. christenings, bar mitzvahs. I'm just a wreck. She's turning off the internet. You know it's serious. I like that bit. Oh my god. Her voice fits this so perfectly. Sarah is so transfixing. Like, I'm looking at her and I'm trying to read the lyrics, but it doesn't, I don't even need to read it. Stop the world from spinning, shut off the sun. Emoting beyond the lyrics. Hold sheet. it. Oh, Cut the music. That. Look at that. Don't face. let it. Beauty, She's keeping it real. Boys, grace, and pain. Wow, UMK, you are blowing me away. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love it. I love this part. Oh, love, 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 love. Oh my god. Oh, the ending. Du, 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 du. Girl. Boom! At the end of the video, Sarah Sipola looks dead, laying on the ground, but she is giving me life. She is alive and she is feeling. She is feeling every second of this. At times, it does sound like tattoos everything she said, just the production. This is in no way a copy, but I'm okay with that because. It's a very electronic, modern sound. It feels very now. It, you know what? I think sometimes the problem I have with ballads at Eurovision, and indeed with Nordic songs in national selections, 
is that they're so fine-tuned and so precise and so well-produced that they lose their soul. But she has somehow managed to retain the soul, retain the meaning and the emotion, even with all that slick, incredible production. This song works on the radio, as something you would drive to, but this also works when you're on your own in contemplative moments. I really want to pull up these lyrics. Saracibola lyrics. I'm all right, all is fine. A year gone by, the sun still shines. I'm over it now. All is good now, my dear, isn't it? There have been a few lies to my therapist, to my friends. They want me to be so nicely repaired and belong to the world again. But one thought of you, my love, and the pain comes rushing back. Hold it now. Stop the world spinning. Shut off the sun. Cut the music. Don't let it in. Pull the curtains tight. Weddings, christenings, I can't play along. No planes, no trains, no birds, no song. Turn off the internet. Everything is wrong. Can't you see I'm an effing wreck? Uh, it's just so powerful. Maybe it's true that time will heal things, but that's what scares me the most right now. This safe pain I know so well, it keeps you alive within me somehow. So she's saying if she heals her pain, she'll forget whoever she lost. And so to, for her at this moment, this juncture, like having the pain, the rawness of that agony, is more comforting than moving on. This is very powerful. You know what? My father's dead. My brother's dead. I get this, but you don't even have to have like lost people close to you. You can also just kind of, a relationship can end. You know, this works on many different levels. Levels A pet can pass away. Grief takes many different forms and people experience grief in different ways. And she's capturing the universal element though, because I think everyone who goes through grief at any point you have this feeling of sort of, um, I don't want to say wallow because that sounds like self-pity, but like there are moments when grieving is awful and there are other moments when in fact you do want to grieve and she's in this weird in between. She's like, what do I do? I, I don't want to move on. Oh my God. I, cutting a long story short, I believe her. I believe her. And I think at, as an artist, her, not me, <laughs> as an artist, she has took, taken you on this journey and if she makes you believe, she can make you feel. And then to be crass, that can make you vote, right? This is incredible. Like, Finns, who speak Finnish and will get the lyrics, they will be totally struck by this, I have no doubt. And I think that foreigners, you know, maybe... Oh, it's so beautiful in Finnish, though. I mean, the team would figure out what to do. Obviously, when um, commentators introduce your song at Eurovision, you can give them notes. So you can slide in what the song's about. You can do the media tour. There's the hype. So you can, like, explain what your message is. Or through the LED backing, as we've seen in the past. Didn't the Italians do that um, in Lisbon? They came top five, I think. You can convey the meaning in other ways. It's so beautiful in Finnish. It would be a shame to have to change it to English or parts of it to English. Um, but you can convey the meaning in other ways. Oh, wow. Okay, so can I just say, by the way, I mean, this This is... It goes to show that if you pack up good entries, you know, you don't have to hate if there's nothing to hate, right? Three entries so far, UMK roster, and I'm loving all three. And all three are different. Going to Sarah... And just kind of just tapping into, this is such a pleasant surprise. I mean, it's not that predictable ballad. I mean, this, there's a lot of pain coming through here. There's depth, there's texture, there's substance. Wow, her voice is beautiful. There's a catchy element to this. It's also building. There's an ascent. But it doesn't just drop you in the abyss, right? There's a feeling of... It, it, it gives you that rounded off feeling. I mean, th th there's so many analogies that I can draw from this. Um, there's pain, but there's also relief. And there's an acknowledgement there, knowing that I'm just a mess, but it's okay because it's justified because I've been through stuff. And, you know, I'm not even going to hide it in the way I express myself or in the way I express my emotion. And... I feel like there's so much depth here, but she actually delves in even deeper. You can still be pretty and have problems. <laughs> you know, you can still be pretty and have problems. I'm actually curious to know if she wrote this. Um, does it tell me? Bear with me. 
Okay. Yeah, she's one of the lyricists. The others are Miko Koivunen, Emi Hakala, Kai Serko. Well, you know what? This sounds like music from a songwriting camp. But she was like, mm -mm -mm -mm. I didn't go through that. But I've been through this. So why don't we write it this way? Woman in control. I'm all about that. This is just, I, this is incredible. I want to listen to that again. Like the staging. Where's that music video at? I have too many windows open. I got too many windows open. Actually, keep it in finish so you can have the I'm an effing wreck. Because I would hate for her to have to lose that emotion. You obviously can't curse at Eurovision. Can you curse in a foreign language? Probably not. Anyway, she'll, she'll come up with an alternative. Where is the music video? Oh my God. So she starts at the beginning and she's like naked, basically. She's where you see kind of bra straps. So this, you know, this is going to be raw. You know, this is going to be real. And then I'm just scrolling through. She's in darkness. It's like emerging from her pain. But our girl doesn't want to emerge, even though there's some light in the background. She's lying on the floor. She's thinking about it. She's floored by the trauma she has endured, whatever that may be. Her hair is a hot mess. Her hair is a hot mess because, you know, she's cut the internet. She's clearly gotten rid of the blow dryer. Everything's a wreck. By the way, I usually don't like when the word internet is in a song, but this is so organic, I don't even mind it. She's not giving me Valentina Moneta social media song 2012 Baku, no. She's giving me Sarah Sipola Pascana 2024. We keep going. Oh, you see the red boots, red passion, passion, blood through the veins, through the heart. The symbolism here. You could write an essay on this. Oh my God. She's emerging. She's walking. Shadows light on the floor. Oh my goodness. I, you know what? I have no word. Oh, those are not boots. Is that blood? Oh no, they're hose. That's hosiery. Westening, weddings, christenings, I can't play along. And you shouldn't have to. You know what? Sometimes you just need to cut yourself off from the world for a little bit. Now, if it goes on for too long, then you need to be a bit more honest with your therapist. But you know what? It's important to acknowledge those feelings, right? I know people argue that the five stages of grief aren't necessarily true, but the whole denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance, I swear, I swear you can plot it. At least for me. Like, I definitely go through that. Where would she be? Where would she be? Maybe she's in the depression phase, actually. I don't think she's bar... Yeah, she's in the depression phase. And what's funny is you can go backwards and forwards, but it is typically in that order. Um, dab, duh. So she could go back to bargaining, bring the... Anyway, to cut a long story short, this is incredible. So far, this is my favorite track in Finland by far, bar none. This is one of the best Eurovision songs of the national selection season. I'm kind of getting over cliche female ballads. But this is giving me, like, the tattoo, the Sia, Sia Alive. You know Sia's song, Alive? I'm alive. I love that electro power. This is giving me that. I hope our girl sings well live. Because she, if she does, this is a potential winner of the Eurovision Song Contest. Yes, I said it. I said it. This is a potential winner of the Eurovision Song Contest because it is powerful. Oh, my God. Because I was, I'm not giving a lie. I was feeling a little so-so about UMK so far. This this has brought me back to the table, and I am ready to eat all your pickled herring, girl. Give me all your pickled herring, Sarah Sipola. Whew. Sarah, are you on Pinterest? Because if you're not, you need to sign up. I need to subscribe to your mood board, because the pain you're feeling, I'm tapping into it. And through that pain, I'm finding my own solutions. Yeah! <laughs> Hashtag woman in control. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Is this an incredible ballad that will appeal to both juries and televoters? I think so. Let us know here on Wee Wee Blogs. Follow Wee Wee Blogs on Pinterest and we will see you later. And we'll see you later. Bye! Bye! Bye.